here in uh, St. Pete, or not St. Pete, um, Tampa. And um, I have a writer's group that meets once a month at the Safety Harbor Library. It's called Screenwriters of Tomorrow. Got a website. Uh, flyers are on the back. We're doing a, a uh, two-day seminar on a screenwriting intensive, 16 hours of how to take your ideas, the story, because obviously every one of you guys have some story that you want to see on the big screen. And we teach you how to take it from fade in, the, uh, the two hardest words in, in the written language uh, for a screenwriter, to the two greatest words for a screenwriter, fade out. So that'll be held in September. Like I said, we've got flyers in the back. This presentation itself is going to be adaptation to film because, you know, you guys obviously have read something somewhere that you think would be an excellent story or you've written a book or a short story and you want to know how to adapt that to film. Um, I'm, I can't go into a lot of detail because they only give me 30 to 45 minutes but I'm going to touch upon um, uh, adaptation from novel to film. And uh, this is my partner, Terry Emerson. She's part of my screenwriters group. She is a uh, chairperson for it. And she's going to be my remote clicker because for some reason it worked this morning at home and it doesn't work today when I get here. So she's going to move the slides for me. Uh, so with that, welcome to Adaptation to Film. All right, go ahead. All right, three things to remember about a story. All right, what is character but the determination of incident? What is incident but the illumination of character? Henry James wrote this back in the early 1900s. Holds true today in almost every film that you see, any adaptation that you want to put on film you start with that line right there, and you will succeed. Go ahead. Uh, without a clear definition of character, there is no definition of story. All right. If you look at some of the worst films ever, like you know, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Now, I'm going old school on you, so you guys probably haven't ever heard of that one, or you know. <laughs> Yeah, um, if you look at that, there's no clear definition of characters in there, except the tomatoes. Um, but if there were a clear definition of character in there, it would have been a much better film. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. And there is no story without conflict, okay? Every scene in your screenplay has to have conflict in order to move the story forward, all right? If you're working on a screenplay and your scene does not have conflict in it, then you need to rewrite that scene because that's what's going to move the story forward. Okay? Every scene has to have conflict. Go ahead. All right. These are some things that you're going to need to do before you begin, uh, you know, from taking your book or your novel that you've read to. Uh, to adapting it into a screenplay. Go ahead. All right. You're going to answer the questions for adaptation, which will be the next part. Um, you'll see the questions. Go ahead. All right. Write a one-page synopsis of your book or your story because this, your synopsis is going to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. All right. Just like your screenplay is going to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Act one, act two, act three. Bless you. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Become passionate. Any project that you want to take on, you have to look at least two years down the road. Are you going to still have the same passion for that project that you have now, two years from now? Because it's going to take you at least six to eight months to write the screenplay, and then another six months on rewriting your screenplay, uh, so you have to make sure that you know in your heart that you're going to have the same passion for that project now that you're going to have, you know, two year, you know, two years from now. So, you know, the, the passion has to be there for the project. Otherwise, 
it's not going to be worth doing for you and you're just wasting your time. Go ahead. All right. These are your questions for adaptation. Go ahead. All right. What's the visual story? How is it driven? What's the conflict? Who are your characters? And are the rights available, which is a biggie. Go ahead. And where do I start? All right. What's the visual story? All right. Define the story through the character's actions and reactions. All right. Nobody wants to go to a film and sit there in an audience and just see two heads talking across the table from one another. Okay. Characters are defined by their actions. We get emotionally involved with those characters by what we see them do and by what we hear them say. Okay? So it, it's got to be more than just talking heads. Go ahead. All right, film is about action, movement, and contrast. Not about talking heads. Go ahead. All right, next thing, how's it driven? Is your story plot or, is your story plot or character driven? Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, to be successful, a movie storyline needs to be driven by the actions of characters who are forced to confront their internal fears, flaws, and make choices in response to an external threat. All right, um, my favorite movie to talk about with this is uh, Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. I just love it. You know, I go old school with, my, with these, you know? I mean, that movie rocked, okay? Very clear character definition is that, is that the main character, you know, he's, he, you know, grew up in Harlem, you know, in the slums and everything, but yet he found a way to, to really grow. I mean, his quirkiness is just 